A very good morning once again and welcome back to Why in the Morning. This is Why in the Morning at White Fifo. And this is your favorite segment, uh, MCM, Man Crush Monday. And you know men are not men without the other agenda. The other agenda are there to fully represent them. And um, you'll see in a little while. My name is Ankara Kayesu and this is Why to Fifo. So the topic of today is um, Kanairo, the struggles and life in Nairobi. I hope this is not going to scare those who have not come to Nairobi because you are going to style both the negatives and positives of staying in Nairobi. And I'm not alone here. I'm joined by phenomenal people, very great people in studio. Uh, we have Kale Kaleche. Uh, I don't know whether I pronounce it right, but I love that Kaleche name. I love African names. And then we have engineer Ochola, that is Andre. How are you guys? Fine. You good, eh? Yeah. So you're going to tell us more about yourself, starting with Kaleche. Thank you, first of all, for having me. I'm Lucy Kaleke. I'm a journalist by profession. Currently working at Shoro FM. I'm a news anchor. For those who listen to radio, Shoro Mato Raine from 9 p.m. Also, I can say I'm a leader, a youth leader, SecGen National Youth Congress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You said your name is Kaleke when I always said it's Kaleche. Uh, was I wrong? Uh, okay, the name Kaleke and Kaleche, there are so many names, depending on how you pronounce it, mm -hmm. because we still have Kina Kareke Mbuki, we oh. have Kaluki, we oh. have Mine Kaleke, we have Kaleche. So does it depend on where you come from? Yeah, it depends. Okay, yeah. oh, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's rare to find a journalist who is also a national youth leader. Did you say national youth leader or something? Yeah, we have the National Youth Congress oh. and the Secretary General. Wow. wow. Maybe people that's have nice. not known much about y it, but yes. we are coming to tell you more about it. We will create a forum just for that, mm -hmm. so that you tell the world about National Youth Congress, mm -hmm. so that Andre can all just also join. Andre, how are you? I'm good. It's Man Crush Monday. It's your day today, and you're here to represent the man, the man of the house. So, in this camera, tell the world about you. Pleasure to be here. I really thank you for the invite. Mm -hmm. uh, my names are Andre Ochola. I'm an engineer by, by profession, electrical, plant electrical engineer, to be precise. Yeah. Uh, I have social media handles, YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, everywhere. I'm Andre Ochola, um, and I'm happy to be here for for this, for this uh, talk. topic of the discussion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So, engineer and uh, and journalist. I think they, you are the best people to tell us about Nairobi. For how long have you been in Nairobi, Andre? I've been in Nairobi for roughly twelve years. Twelve. Yeah. Yeah. That's you have enough experience. Sure. Kaleke, how long have you been in Nairobi? I can say for the last two years and also the other years coming, going, coming, going. Oh, but constantly, since you started working at Soro, it's been two. Two years. Oh, oh, nice. Now, you've heard everything that people say about Nairobi. Okay. There's a song that they will play at the end of this, saying, Nairobi, you learn a kulete, I not. I am not sure about the words, <coughs> but there is grace about Nairobi that people are always co complaining about. S during your two years, mm -hmm. uh, Lucy, mm -hmm. in Nairobi, mm -hmm. what pe uh, peculiar thing have you seen about Nairobi that uh, that you did not see if, uh, at Ushago where you were or wherever you were before you came to Nairobi? What I can say, just like any other city in the world, People go to the city in their countries because they have that notion you can make it in the city. And wherever you come from, you come with your tabias zakule unapata za jiji. Wow. So hata magari unapata imiandikuwa ukija Nairobi, njo tuna mwili na akili tabia utazipata uku. Oh, we kuna tabia uli kuja nayo from Ushami. <laughs> Not really. Uh, uli kuja ukiwa poatu. Nili kuja kama mimi. Uh. Lakini pia unajua kuna this character development as a result of social na wale your circle wana influence who you become, what you are doing, mambo kama hayo. Oh, umewai potea Nairobi? Of course, nasiku uliza njia. How, how did you go about it? Unapotea, unajifanya, ujapotea. Unazunguka, unachoka, unaona wacha sasa ni ulize. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. After how long did you ulize? After nimeona nimetembea sana. 
jua limewaka kabisa <laughs> alafu umefika mahali kuna kaa wewe ni so quiet hakuna watu wengi then unaona yes niko Nairobi lakini si kama Nairobi unaona unakaa uh, odd one out kwenye unatembea so unauliza <laughs> And tell yeah. us about your experience in Nairobi. Okay, I, You've I, been here longer. Still, fears is a lot. Is a is a is a, a lot. Yeah, I really love the city. To be precise, Nairobi is uh, that city that uh, it, it is heaven in hell and hell in heaven. What? Uh, to, I'm saying this to mean a lot. Be, uh, for the first time, when you are coming to the village, either a mother. Everybody, a mother or a father, will tell you that you are going to that city. Yes. Maybe when you are coming to learn or going to school, he will tell you or she will tell you that you are going to that city. There are a lot of thieves. There yes. are a lot of, uh, I don't know, many, many things. Uh, so like my experience, the first time I came to Nairobi, I landed at country bus. And then I had a bag. I had to tie the bag in my waist, ooh. like tie it like a rope. Yeah, so, so that if, they don't if, steal if it. If anyone comes to me, like, you pull it, hey. you, you pull me together with it and I'll, I'll make noise. I had that mentality. Yes. Now, when I went and sat there waiting for someone to come and pick me, to be precise, my sister was the one who was coming to pick mm -hmm. me. So I was waiting. I had no phone. Mm. Like, the one who dropped me, the, 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 the Manamba, yes. the vehicle, told the, 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 my sister that, we have we've delivered them the package. The package is oh, there. Oh, you are waiting. like the package yeah. now. Eh, eh, yeah. Eh. Mm -hmm. So I was delivered. So I, I came to the city. Like the dressing code was very different uh, from w what I was seeing. Uh, what were you in wearing? The city. What were you wearing? Like I just had some black shoes. Eh. Like putting it with a, a big jeans that is maybe faded. Eh. It, uh, Tulikuwa na zita flare. Hey. Hini yikona mgu kubwa. Na t-shirt ya rambo. Na t-shirt maybe miandikuwa Mr. Nice. Unaona? Hey, hey, Mr. Nice. Kitu, kitu kama hiyo. Hey. Alafu kuna hii belt. Kuna hii belt nye likuwa inachoro hapa. Maybe hey. Bob Mali. Hey. Hey. Kitu Alafu kama hiyo. Alafu body naka kitambi ya tayo. Yeah, hey. something like that. I can imagine. So, <laughs> when when I, I stayed in Nairobi, uh. I learned a lot. For the first time nili, nili toka kwa nyumba kama nataka kuenda kutembea. I only knew like two places, like nilikuwa najua mali na itua Uru Park na Kencom. Those are the only places that maybe na isasema nilikuwa najua mm -hmm. personally. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know any route, so I decided to maybe walk. I walked along Thika Road. By then Thika Road was just two way yes. before Itengenezwe. Yeah, before it became super high. I walked straight to, from Thika Road from uh, like All Soaps, that's Madare North, yes, to town. up to town. Just walking. Why? Why were you walking? You didn't have I, I, I didn't. I didn't know where to board a vehicle. Like, nilikuwa na sema sasa niki panda ita ni peleka wapi. Na niki niki nishuki shanda shuki nta shuka wapi. So like, ni, I, I was just going. Niki jua niki enda niki tembe a ivi. Nta enda street ni anguke town. So like, nta trace vile nilikuja. So <laughs> I went to town. I went up to Kencom. Yes. Na vile nilitoka kwa nyumba kama nakuja, mm. I again walked back home. Hey. So, I learned a lot uh, Nairobi while walking. Hey. Siku kwa napanda gari. For like, uh, naiza sema one week. You were walking like up. a wild animal. So, one day I, I got lost. <laughs> I, 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 within I, I the city. Okay. I, I got lost within the estate. Yeah, within the estate. The estate. Like where we were where staying. Where were you staying? At Madare, by then Madare North, oh, area, okay. area 3. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I decided to walk along the estate. Hey. Now, where I got lost was just behind the plot that we were staying. So I asked, like, <laughs> Unajua plot in, in I don't know, I can't remember the name, but I, I, I asked for the name. So I had a small phone. Hey. Now you had acquired a phone. Right? Yeah. Uh -huh. My sister gave it to me. Katululu. Yeah. Uh -huh. So someone told me, pitia pale, pitia the other side, na wende utazunguka hivi. Mm -hmm. Now, where I pitiaed, the, 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 the place the, the guy showed me, nilipitia hapo, nikafika mahali, I, had, I don't know how the phone got lost. What? I don't know how the phone got you... No one touched me. Yes. I just pitiaed hapo, like... What After, you know is that at some point you didn't have I didn't phone. have the phone. Eh. Yeah. So <laughs> I learned a lot that 
I won't be tear this route again. Hey. So I went back, then saw someone familiar. Yes. Nika mfuata. Yes. Nika sema, uu nilimuona ni kama nika jirani. Nika mfuata, then I got, nika sema tu, I was just here. How did I get lost? Mm. It was really like, very funny how I, how I got lost. Nilipotea aji, na nilikuwa tu nyuma ya iploti. So, nika kuja, nika realize uh, like, uh, changes in life. Like, uko penye likuwa ushago, nili, sasa nikaanza kushika antena, hapo kuna wezi. Uh. Eh. Now, I realized that vile nilikuwa na pitana na watu, kumbe the ones I was pitana with, these are the ones who like went to my pocket, wakavuruta simu, while tuko na pitana. It was, it was a, a small bridge near somewhere called Uruma. Yes, yeah. the bridge that connects Uruma and Madhari. Uruma and Madhari, yeah. Hey. So I was made to zunguka the bridge, coming to the place that I knew that, this was the plot. Bwana Nairobi welcomed you. Nairobi it, it's welcomed different you. with your case, Kaleke. It, yeah. It's like you, you came into good hands. She was left to survive. And now that is the problem with how men are handled. When how boy child is handled and how girls are handled. Not really. You are left to fight on your own. It's like she got some uh, heaven. She got... She landed in good hands. No, I have my own share of of losing things uh, Tell us. unknowingly. Tell us. First of all, it started in Nakuru. Hmm. I was walking somewhere. I met some guys. I watch movie uh, DJ Afro. Yeah. So they were looking like this. But I was watching a lot of people. So when I was passing them, I was like, I'm going to go to DJ Afro. No, I'm going to go to DJ Afro. Ni kwa street unatembea okay. but watu wana watch kuna movie shop mm. watu wana watch DJ Afro but wamebakisha kanjia kadogo kawapita hey. njia uh -huh. so kuna mmoja mbele mwingine nyuma hey. munapita hapo katikati hey. Hey. so when i was passing nikasikia nimeguswa kidogo tu but kufika three steps nikaona sina simu kuangalia by then au ndio suspect but sina evidence i walked away jupi hata simu ilikuwa imezimwa pia hapa Nairobi <laughs> I bought some trop because then I took my phone, I started to, I put it in the bag. Kufika kwa bus hivi, nilikuwa naenda pale railways. Nilingia kwa bus bila simu, sijui ilipotea aje. So Nairobi, wacha niseme wezi wa Nairobi, they are experts, our bahatishi. We are going to discuss that about the wezi wa Nairobi. Let's start with the rush. You know, people are saying that Nairobi kila mtu anakimbia watu wanaenda wapi and i contrast this with uh, there's a there's somebody who was guiding journalist on how to behave in Nairobi but mm -hmm. uh, time really doesn't matter in Nairobi if you are invited for a meeting be one hour late and you realize that you've really come so early so early so uh, how do you bury these things like people really rush everybody is rushing in nairobi hakuna mwenye anatembea pole pole kila mmoja tu hivi hadi ukigongana na mtu ile cha i'm sorry sorry na kuenda hakuna explanation what wanaenda wapi nairobi we start with what wanaenda wapi na mbona watu wanachelewa meetings tena with all that rush nairobi being the capital city of kenya ina watu ni wengi kutoka kila pembe ya inchi na kila mtu ana shughuli zake so you are not there at kuangalia wamepita nini amevaa nini kila mtu anatembea so i think uh, my opinion is because people are hard working and they are busy with their lives that's oh. why they walk you think nairobians are very hard working uh, yeah, people who are there, there are people who are hard working because there is someone rushing there. Iyo kupitana pitana ni simu ya mtu ameona ndi anakimbisha. Oh, oh, oh. In the process, hako kazi in short. Hey, hey. Kila mtu hako kazi ya kukimbia. Now, now, the rush, yeah? The rush, the rush has... The rush has, has the lateness. It, it, has, it has a lot of, uh, like, uh, meanings. Eh? Yes. Like, when you're in town, like, you can't walk slowly in Nairobi. First, when you walk slowly, one, you might be a suspect. Hey. Yeah, yeah, by the police. <laughs> hey. Like, kuda hada kuja kuliza, hey, kijana, <laughs> ukona plan gani ya hapa. Yeah. ID. Yeah, where is your ID? Especially if you have a bag. Like, everybody's minding, he's all our own business in Nairobi. Hmm. That's why the rush. Again, the rush, apart from the police and maybe the, the kanjos, uh, there, there are these, uh, like, uh, 
nini au wenye wana wana kon watu mm -hmm. like wakiona mtu mwenye tu anatembea sio leo anasema huyu ana shughuli sana ama ni mgeni yeah ni mgeni mm -hmm. this one we can really treat and uh, tunaweza mnyang'anya mm -hmm. they'll follow you so like what we follow suit like when i walk that faster mm -hmm. no one will mind me hakuna mwenye atanipiga break hey, brother niaje can you help me in this huh? Like you know, helping in this kidogo too, mtu anaona. Even if someone is serious, like mm. he wants this help ya ukweli, mm. no one will stop. Mm. Kila mtu sasa naenda tu sasa iyo rashi na kujia like mtu anata anataka kumai ndi business yake yana taka aende. No one. Na kuna rashi pia genuine like I'm late because of the traffic that was uh, in Thika Road ilikuwa imenishika kabisa. Mm, mm. It's a genuine genuine rush you are late mm, mm. like with uh, five or ten minutes mm. at your workplace or either somewhere else. No. So there are genuine rushes and there are rushes, rushes that uh, yeah. 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 plus oh. what kale 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 chia said mm. there are those rushes that yeah, maybe mtu ame focus Eagle, Eagle Rush, ya. Eh? Mm. Umeona kakitu pali ya mm. meka. Mm. Anata vile ule saa polisi ali sinachiwa simu kwa. Mm. The man ali time. <laughs> ali yonea like, iti. Sasa nataka kueka hii piki piki speed ingine ni rush. Sasa hii ni life guard. In addition to that, hii eh. kutembea tembea pole pole inakaanga huna confidence. You are not sure where you are going. In the process kuna wale tu watu wako hapo kuangalia nani wanatembea pole pole. Eh. Wanakuliza, eh, unenda wapi? Hey. Ndiyo anakuliza, unataka gari za wapi nini hey, nini? Hey, In the kumbe, process ya kuongea, unapoteza something hey, you are carrying. Sasa sijui kama tutaishi hivi. But umewa ikuwa kond, munasema watu ni kama wanaangalia watu kutembea pole pole wakue kond. Kuna mwenye mewa ikuwa kond between you? I've, I've, I've seen that but I've not experienced that. Mm, mm. I've seen that happening to my fellow. Mm. I have a friend mm. back uh, in the estates. Uh, he's called Isaac. Hmm. Isaac, like, uh, he went to like shop to shop uh, some clothes up a Gikomba. So, like, uh, uh, I called him, hey, brother Nikom Tanya, I'll be there in a few Niko Kogari. Hmm. Then, upon reaching the estate, hmm. an old man conned him. An old an man? An old, old man. Hmm. Alimuliza direction. Hmm. Like, Nataka children so many Niko Karibu. Hmm. He gave direction. And upon giving direction, alijipata kama napatia na vitu zanyo mebeba zote. Ish. Bag, simu, Ini and, uh, and even, even the remaining coin that he had, the 20 shillings. He gave that music. Yeah. So after like 10 minutes when I, I was calling him. You could not reach him. He was offline. Yes. So alikuja, nikamuliza, hey, what happened? Akaniambia, nimekoniwa. Sasa tufanya haja, tusiulize direction ama tusipeane direction. So, 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 that's why that's why it's tricky like you you don't trust anyone in this city mimi naweza sema tumwai kwaniwa but not me ni my friend alinipeleka hapo unaona hawa watu kaa kwa kitebo na makadi tatu naambiwa sijui guza gani iko na pesa alafu anakuambia in fact wanaangushanga 200 mbele ndio naambiwa uokote ukileta naambiwa onyesha 500 upewe hiyo sijui upewe nini unaonesha 500 in fact these people are very tricky Ukionyesha hiyo 500 nafaa by the way kupe 300 ukae nayo hey. ikae 200 yako hapo hey. njui aliekelea 200 mm. so my friend aliekelea 500 yake ni boy na ye. na yeye eh tukiwa na yeye ni mimi nampea pressure weka oh oh, oh. akaniambia tunagawana kwa chocha tulikuwa na yeye nikamwambia ekelea tuone Hey. Akaweka ya kwanza alafu kuna hii sako linawazungukanga I think wana kuanga team hey. uh, Mmoja ndiyo nakuambia hindi kona mwingine hii Sijua na badilishanga na dakika ngapi mm. So hiyo miatano ilipote By the way today ya mbiana it's kind of embarrassing oh. We don't talk hey, about yo, yo, it much mm. Ati ulinyanganyo pesa yeah, so. <laughs> so, so, so like things like, uh, like uh, the ones are uh, She's saying mm. those are the things that maybe add the rush, the yes. rush in the city. And they yes. change yeah, you because, to another you person in the city. Mm. Mm. See, you need learn. Unajua the topic, the question was, Ninini umewai learn from the from Kanairo Institute of Character Development. Yeah. Like Ninini, you know, people learn, people yeah. learn. Like now where you know, mm. where unajua uta wai rudi uko now. You know, you don't see people gathering and they are, they are speaking, then you go join them anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, there, there are a lot of things to learn, yeah? Yes. Like me personally, I've learned that there are some routes mm. I can't pass 
dressing like this mm. and uh, the same roots i can pass dressing like the, maybe, there's a way of, of maybe of, suits of, yeah yes. you, uh, like when you go to places like in madare and Mad mm. down valley yeah? the moment you want to pass you maybe you, you can see it is a shallow road yeah? yes. it's, a, it's a big a very big road mm. but now uh, these guys have an eagle eye yes. someone has seen you there and asema is clad in mzuri sana like oh. the way of dress is very good I so you might, you, might, you, might, you might pass in the, to that uh, route yes. piti hapo push to kie auna any uko uchi hey. because they were they, they were calculating on how they they'll, they'll dress you and take everything from you so i've learned like there there are some routes siwezi piti you avoid yeah I avoid some routes for my for my for the sake of my life and maybe for your own safety for my my own safety yeah, you just yeah. avoid those routes and again I've learned Nairobi you can you can you can learn you can like unaweza uh, tengeneza vitu mingi sana Nairobi ufungua akili sana sana sisi yuta Nairobi ufungua it's an eye open and mm. maybe akili open you mm. always kakwa hii city kama hauna kenye unafanya and that's why they say nguvu unaacha mashambani huko hey. unatumia akili hapo oh, unakuja na akili nguvu ende ikalime huko like to be precise uh -huh. when i stayed with my sister for a while uh -huh. my sister made me a shopkeeper because by then alikuwa anaenda college uh -huh. kmtc uh -huh. is a very good a very good sister anapima akili ya watu sana atakuona ukijana atafanya nini uh -huh. so like he started telling me ntakupatia blender ni kuambi vile wanafanya you mm. make a juice eh? mm. then you sell so nilikuwa na hiyo mentality like i'm staying at her place mm. sleep rent so the all money that i was getting ilikuwa tu kubai like unaona ah ujamaa na vaivia na vizuri now i started mm. changing hiyo mm. lifestyle ya ushago nimeacha na pressure eh mm. sasa so, ujamaa na vizuri nataka jeans kama hii mm. viatu kama hizi mm. by then there was these famous shoes called supra Mm -hmm. I bought super at 3500. Na pesa ya juo. Yes, because that money si, nilikuwa najua silipi rent. Usi za kusikia vibaya. No. Silipi rent na ameingia jiji. Food iko. Eh. Hiyo pesa mimi na earn. Eh. Like, eh. It's mine. Eh. The business will I was told that ya shop ni ya shop. Mm. But this ya juice hii ni yako. Na yuza kwa yes it ni yangu. Mm. So hiyo ndio biashara yangu ya kwanza. Sasa hii pesa the only thing I could do with it was like ni buy viatu maybe niende tao ni kule chipo na kuku because hizo ni zile zinazo diaspora so one day an eye opener came sister ngo kaniuliza after two months where apart from kununua hizi viatu na nguo ni you go to town like i was not even going to church but then i could then escort them to church ni mababe ya lunch hivi ama seventh day adventist yes nikifika tu church hivi nikae kidogo mm. i'm lost i'm in town oh, so juko na pesa one day yeah. one day akaniuliza hii pesa nyo unapata hii nini constructive ushafanya nayo apart from kubai hizo nguo tu wewe unakula kula tu eh hey. mhm mm akaniambia from now henceforth you'll be giving me this money i'll only leave you with 200 shillings because there's no way you're going you're What? not paying rent you're not doing anything so like i was aliniweka target kwa month nataka unipatie uh -huh. kwa hii pesa nyo unatengeneza daily unatengeneza roughly pesa ngapi nikamwambia so i was like keeping like 3000 uh -huh. every month so did that make you change yeah it made me change because mhm uh -huh. e 3000 she budgeted for me alinunua sufuria akanunua gas na besheni then after akakuacha kwenda kushi peke yako akaniambia uh -huh. there is a house up here uh -huh. I've paid for the house for two months. Yes. Mm -hmm. Utaenda kuishi hapo ujitegemee. Oh. I don't know how you'll pay it after three months. How was your feeling? Now like I was starting like eh. <laughs> Will I make it? <laughs> like I The reality starts. The reality hitting. now starts. Yeah? Is that when you started going to church now? <laughs> now I realized that <laughs> my mother from home alikuwa nani amemwambia eh? Huyu mtoto asikae hapo sana kwako mfundishe hata yeye vile maisha yako tegemea eh mm -hmm. naona now i started like it was an eye open after after the third month mm -hmm. yo sasa rent imeisha nyalilipa so like ilikuwa like yo ndio sasa mimi sasa how much was rent rent was uh, 3000 eh, yeah eh. it was a, just a single room 
it had no bed learned the hard way that I was, was just sleeping good. in the mattress alafu mm-hmm. finally enough akaenda kanitengeneza kitanda mm. kaniambia kitanda pia si yako if hey. you can't pay for it it, hey. it is 8000 shillings hey. if you can't pay for it i'll take it back hey. yeah so, so I'm, I'm, I'm just giving it to you kiasi tu hey, for the time being yeah utarudisha do you have experience do you have such experience ama madam Madam no. ne wa wa kuhandliwa na velvet gloves no. mkosa. I being okay. I didn't say my other name. People call me that lady. Uh-huh. I have learned to solve my problems alone. So I'm I'm relating whatever he's saying except that in the part of that that harshness of the nini of of the of the sister. Yeah, I had to work for, to get what I I want. With whom did you come to stay in Nairobi? Ama ulikuja tu kivi yako? Okay, I came alone because I don't have the family members. I don't have those people in the families you can say who is who or an auntie to connect you somewhere. So it's you and what you believe in and you move on in confidence. The way we are talking about the rush in Nairobi. Did you come to stay alone in Nairobi? Ulikuja kwa nani? I came Kuingia kwako ya kwanza. Okay, when I came to Nairobi I came because I was a student at Mount Kenya University. Oh, mm-hmm. So I had to find a house. Oh, you came as a along student. Along Vicar Road. Hey, yeah. Hey. I was alone. Okay, so that's when you started make money on your own and all that. Yeah, because oh, you you were getting support from home. When I was coming, I left some projects to support me when I'm here. Then you are because I was a student leader, <laughs> yeah, let, let me say 2020, we were being paid, so I invested. Oh. I was selling shoes. Okay. Yeah. You know, you, you have a life. How do you guys to tell me about tamaking? Have you tamaked? Yeah. yeah. How, what's your experience with tamaking? It's, it's a bit hard. It can mm. it can make you like uh, maybe lose hope in life. It can make you think of many things in the city, Nairobi. Like it's uh, uh, when when I finished uh, like maybe college, uh, I had a friend called uh, Kevin. So my first job, I, I it was like an attachment. Lienda ukoni kamambia. Can you, uh, the company you work in is an idea to attach with that name? Yeah, it's uh, okay, but for a few months, come here, yeah, three months, you'll go and to your report attachment, the Rudisha Shule. So I went there, the owner of the company, Likwa Muindi, I can be here. I'll allow you to get attachment, and I'm going to be a little per month. And the place was like Mlolonga. I was wa- ha- wondering how I'll survive with 4,000 per month. Where were you staying? I was staying at Lakisama. St- still at Lakisama? Oh, yeah, at Lakisama, Lakisama by then, Lakisama. Then to Mlolongo. To Mlolongo. So, so like, I, get I was working as early as three. Ndiyo sasa ni pate ile gari ya kuenda town na 30 bob. Iyo ni for around 4, 4.15 hapo hivo. Na iyo 30 bob, umepanda gari like ume, ume wale wakusimama oh yeah. hey, hey. so again nipige sabu nataka kwenda mlolongo there is apa railways kuna gari zinaitwa rembo hey, rembo so up to where i was going to sabaki hmm. was like 50 shillings hiyo 50 ilikuwa mingi sana so aki, uh, idea yangu ilikuwa naenda kwa hizo gari unasema unaenda mlolongo Jumlolongo was 30. Yes. So unaenda Mlolongo but past Mlolongo is now 50. Oh. So nikishasema nili, Mlolongo nimelipa 50, mm. the guy gives me back 20 shillings. Yes. I just sit in the vehicle. Yes. Wakisema Mlolongo mwisho tushuke. Mimi nimekaa macho nimekaa tu hapo. Akura day walikushika. There is no day. Like I was just sitting. He was very lucky. Then w- wakiitisha pesa nikisema atao. Ulilipa ngapi 50? Nashukia sabaki. Hey. Anapita. So <laughs> at Sabaki <laughs> I say hey thank you god I've made it hey, like yeah. I've used 60 shillings. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the only advantage yeah, so. that we had yeah. we were working uh, on a field works. Yeah. Easy ku uh, like generators and power backup. So like we were going mostly uko Nairobi. 
tulikuwa tunatoka huko sasa gari ya kampuni na kubeba mm. ya coming to Nairobi site oh, inaku, inaku, so inaku, inaku, after yeah. the attachment like ilikatika so i had to, i had to start to ground zero again like uh, nataka kutafuta tena kazi nyingine i took everything that i had kila kitu naenda huko makampuni wanakuambia we will call you hmm. like i walked like kama una hustle alafu hiyo scam ya we will call you after every interview naambiwa so we, just go we, we'll we call, we'll call you, you. Yeah. <laughs> you wait for that call like forever up to now i'm still waiting <laughs> i know i i can count the companies <laughs> that i went to that i've told you that they, that we will they, call you they will call you after yeah, doing several, interview several of them i think life is harder for for boy child than than girl child you also have such experiences yeah i have never tamaked you see i want to say to say tamaking is very real it doesn't have gender it does not respect that because uh, when watu wanaenda shule both genders wana attend universities lakini hakuna job market hakuna atikazi these are there for the ladies and these are there for the men mm. so tamaking is real for everyone and that's why unapata kwa dika super highway mm. kuna mtu huamkia kazi Nairobi either ni hawking ama gani mm. lakini halipi gari huwa wanashikilia lori huku nyuma sijui kama mmewaona mm. na kuna mtu pia hukaa pale kwa highway anangojea nini ka pick up kakuje na mboga kutoka Muranga ama yes, wapi yes. achomoe moja achukua ngi mbili eh, moja, moja tu, tu. Yeah. wana survive hivyo mm. so the city makes you have the mechanism of survival mm. so tamaking is real it's there the graduates kila siku economy na flood now so the best thing is that you the ukitoka nini don't depend sana na kenye umesomea unless pia upitie kwa hiyo shida ya kutama na kujua kuna kazi you start thinking yes yeah unakuwa innovative na yeah, other things yeah unakuwa innovative because mm -hmm. he said that people Nairobi is a learning place you people learn, learn. Yeah. you can survive on anything yeah. like here amesoma engineering mm -hmm. and the skill they end up to make juice so yeah. you end up you wonder why how engineering na juice zinaingiana mm -hmm. i wish we had a lot of time i think tamaking will just be a whole topic one day here yeah. Yeah. to discuss tamaking it's a whole feel that need a lot of exhaustion yeah. uko na experience na beggars both of you are christians eh? mm -hmm. yeah uh, from the place you alighted to this studio mm -hmm. i know you found so many beggars on the yeah. show yeah. mliwapea pesa okay kuna hawa totally they can't walk na kuna hawa ni blind of course you drop the coins as you walk but kuna wao mwingine energetic amekufuata tu na akona yes na kikoti ya suti although ni kichafu kambia mm -hmm. sister nenulie chai and you are like your age mates wako kule kikomba wanangoja watu anunue <laughs> vitu wabebe hiyo <laughs> mizigo wapeleke kwa gari stage wapewe 40 bob ama whatever coins they mm -hmm. are hustling mm -hmm. unajua kuna mtu unaweza pata huyu wenyewe anangengana si eti anakuomba pesa aomoke ni for survival huyo mm. unaweza mpea mm. so to you una patianga una patianga wenye wanakaa <laughs> anakaa ana deserve oh yeah so oh what you na than in legit ni genuine beggar so wa unawapea okay kun, tunajua kuna hii story ilikuanga kuna watu wanaweka viwete kila kona i'm sorry to say that word alafu waokote hizo pesa alafu kila jioni wanawachukua mm alafu wanapewa tumishara yeah, like, so it's like wafanya. wanafanyia mtu kazi yeah. ndio uh, wapate pa kuishi and mostly ikaonekana these people they mainly come from Tanzania not Kenyans oh majority are from Tanzania hiyo sasa ndio lesson we learn from Nairobi about beggars not that much also, <laughs> but ni tenda wema nenda zako if you have it give them if you don't walk na kama mtu anakaa ak, kona nguvu achana na yeye and these people have heart more than us tell us yeah, your sure. experience with beggars like, in like Nairobi the beggars huh? to me practically you can you i don't know who is genuine and who is not genuine mm. at a point we, we are with my i was telling uh, one of my friends job Jobo Kul is my good yes. friend. Eh? Mm -hmm. I I had a story I was telling him job. I was in town and I met a beggar. Like alikuwa ana mguu kabisa. Mimi nikaenda nika drop like 50 shillings. So when when I came back from the same route nikapata jamaa mm. with a lot of bottles of liquor mm. anakunywa melewa. 
Oh the same the same jamaa the same same guy amelewa na, na ziko tu hapo ya amelewa hey, mm-hmm. oh. he is drunk so you felt like so, pesa yako ndio imenunua na it feel like <laughs> uja ma sasa mimi nilimsaidia kunywe <laughs> mm? and then and then again there, there are these like unawasaidia mm-hmm. then utapata like an, a scenario that happened i don't know it was in mombasa mm-hmm. mtu amekuja yeye ni kiwete kabisa mm-hmm. Watu wamemsaidia ikifika jioni Ni ka video alikuwa amebeba yeah. mtoto mama yeah. anajifanya mama hata oh. ni mwanaume. Anatembea oh. vizuri. Eh. So like in Nairobi in the city you can't know who is a genuine beggar <laughs> and, who is, and who, who is not. So what do you do and who so, do you give? Tangu that scenario what yeah. do you do? Uh, sometimes Peter, sometimes eh, inaniingia kwa moyo nasema tu let me give whatever will be will be ikienda hivyo afanye nayo Kenya napenda. It's upon ha or him na Mungu yeah. wake. Okay. Tenda wema nenda zako. Tenda wema nenda yeah. zako. Uh, that's how you deal with beggars in Nairobi. Yeah. There's another thing that we can't live without touching and Tammy is really, really on our neck. About uh, the pyramid schemes. Those who say that um, on a forward message a lafu anakuambia kwa hiyo message that you can make the how you can make uh, 3000 to 5000 in a week. Mhm then do you uh, send your view joined those uh, our uh, online hey how are online singine wanauza dawa i've joined one wengine uh, tell us your experience and i was like hiyo time tu yangu ya tamaki hey. a friend called me akani anakupatia like vile unaweza make unaweza make do aki anaku invite mm. just come and i went apa apa six eight hotel yeah. mostly inafanyikanga hapo uh, and they call you in a very expensive hotel yeah. eh? i went there nilipewa chai na uh, maybe mkate mm, mm. so like the way they were explaining this you ilikuwa, really ilikuwa see... pia wewe uingie kwa hii kitu like i don't know you pay 2500 it's like a chain mm. a registration yes. alafu hata wewe ukishaingia ulete mwenzako uanze kuleta kuleta watu okay, the more you let watu hivi uh-huh. sijui ndio pesa yako ina grow mm. now i went there 2500 the only money i have now ni ile ya kunirudisha kwa nyumba where will i get this money again 2500 what were you See selling which product were you selling there was no any selling any product oh you na letter to a ile ilikuwa tu ya kuleta watu and the more you let a watu you you you, uh, you earn from it yeah the, did you let a watu i couldn't do that because i had no registration money first of all oh you didn't pay that 2500 yeah Me, I, I met pay. others too mm. but they were saying they came from Singapore and their registration was 20k you bring 20k then your friend who when you utaleta na yeye akitoa 20k siju utapatanga pesa ngapi hey. and the chain continues yes. yeah. alafu mm. wako na evidence mmoja anatoa kasimu kake wanasiju anafungua api kwa Mpesa unaona pesa yeah. vile zina vile stream zina ndani zina oh zinaingia eh yeah, ati sasa alileta watu kuna venye tu akonesha ona ona Hiyo ni labda recorded video yeah, something yeah. something so, but yeah, mimi nikaangalia yenyewe mwenye anakuita na mwenye anakuonyesha hizo pesa mm, hakai kama ako nazo hata mm, mm, fisi kwa pia anaona ni hiyo saa kubwa wamevaa mm, o saa zingine in fact the viatu zinakuwa zimeinama yani ni watu maisha ya Nairobi mwachonga wakafikiria tukileta hawa watu especially vile hakuna makazi tuambie hivi na hivi they will fall for it So wanakuanga and it is real it's happening and people will always continue to be conned. Hey, But because, because that is conning yeah. most what, of the what, time. What I've In fact that. they start by telling you wachana na masomo. Hey. Ni pesa ngapi <laughs> mnalipa hiyo university? Hey. Ama if you are working they tell you if mm. you are maybe earning uh, over 20,000. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The time you can take to make a million out of that. Mm-hmm. You say you are not saving. Mm-hmm. So 20,000 u- u- multiply by 12 months by one year. They will calculate you to you mm-hmm. and say uh, by the time you'll be a millionaire mm-hmm. it is 157 years yes. from today. Yes. Alafu unaona yenyewe hapa kuna ukweli. Eh kuna ka ukweli because it's numbers it's calculations. And, and, and they'll show you caliber of people like huyu alikuwa na na CIC maybe. Uh-huh. Yes. Aliingia na sisi yeah. sasa yana ana an, a month ana 2 million. Yes. Huyu alikuwa anafanya jeshi. Mm. They even Alafu send you they photos. have this habit of mm. going to the airport mm. utu ndege to easy flights za karibu karibu yeah. they take a photo there. Yeah. Yeah, juzi tulikuwa huku 
Eh, eh, tuliko huko. Yaani hao watu wanakuwa tuna ujanja fulani. <laughs> <laughs> Mills in Nairobi, I think we are going to finish with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bona kuna wenye wako na pesa wanaenda kwa big hotels mm -hmm. na kuna watu wa vibanda juu. Mm. Kuna place unaweza kuwa unafanya mm -hmm. there are good hotels this man there's even a good restaurant inside where you work. Sure. But there are people who still live and wanaenda kwa zile chapati za kukata na ku nini yeah inaitwa chafua mm. what have you ever eaten chafua in nairobi not really I'm you sorry. see you see how girls are feeling good <laughs> i'm in not a dynasty but i have not been there uh, where you you've been just eating in good hotels in nairobi i thank god for that I'm sorry <laughs> i'm very <really> lucky <laughs> what's your experience with kibandaski in nairobi food is cheap Yes. Yes. Cheaper than home. Cheaper than home. Uh -huh. Food is cheap. And uh -huh. nice food. And Spicy. Nice food. Concerning to where you live and or where how you take life, yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like uh, I've 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 taken you chafua. Kata maragwe chapati weka ndani ya maragwe. Na supu. Life yendele na supu, mm. yeah. I've I've I have friends like even my brother, my blood brother. Yeni yeni daktari mm -hmm. by profession alizoea hiyo life ya maybe chafua ya eh? atakwambia buda nataka kwenda kula mtura lakini siezi enda hiyo ni safi sana nataka mtura ile yenye iko kwa place hivi giza giza hivi unaona unajua mtura so, uwezi kata ukule kwa nyumba have you eaten mtura mtura is sweet kwa street your life is different so maybe yeah. it's then kama umekula mtura. ah mtura is good i know even But now mtura, they make it unaona vile andu ana, ana describe kukula mtura mtura si kitu watu unakata unaenda kukula kwa nyumba na pia pia si unakula si, kwa shida shida kwa pia, giza si, si, si tamu unaka, mchana eh, eh, si tamu kama like kwa na pilipili ya mtura ya kwanza eh, eh, ni giza eh, giza that's the first ingredient ni kae rio alafu kuna ka shida kuna ka kainzi hapo kuna ka kiasi inatolewa oh, there's something good about uh, food za vibanda yenye una mess hizo food azijawahi ingia fridge yeah, yeah okay the food tu zimetoka market zimepikwa sasa hizo zinakulwa sasa hizo sasa hizo zinaisha jioni vitu vinapelekwa kwa kwa place nyingine hiyo place hiyo hotel na kwa hakuna hotel hapo what i'm trying to say is <laughs> semi vibanda ni vibaya in fact if i was to invest i look for a nice place and put a very nice kibanda provided yes. it's clean with all that ipe majama kazi what i'm saying is this when god gets you out of something you stay out of it yes if god make to your place like you can afford more than kibanda you go where you can our time is much spent collect mm -hmm. uh, look at this camera this uh, camera one mm -hmm. and tell the, the somebody who wants to come to Nairobi ajawai kuja because mm -hmm. we try for now everywhere in this nation and beyond okay somebody was somebody new who just finished for for mm -hmm. who just finished campus wants to come to Nairobi mfundishe mm -hmm. okay mimi ningependa kusema if you are there and you want to come to the city Nairobi ni mahali kuna watu kutoka kila kona ya inchi kila mtu ana tabia zake una tabia zenu utakuja nazo huku but deep down there is that person in you and you know what you want in life because it is still in this Nairobi where people come when they are very fresh and polite and innocent wanaingizwa kwa uvutaji wa utumiaji wa dawa za kulevia wizi pia yuko hapa ukahaba pia ni Nairobi mambo mabaya mabaya the same place pia Nairobi ndio watu ukuja you meet people who are thinking just like you and you you come up with an idea na mnaenda mbali so if you want to come to Nairobi kuja tu na confidence and put god first and things will work out for you thank you Kalaja and you in 30, 30 seconds Nairobi to ever who wants to come to Nairobi it's focus what is bringing you, you must have an agenda while coming to the city Usikuje tu ati unakuja kutembelea kina nani au una focus. Come focused. What you want to do? Kama ni shule, focus kwa shule. Kama ni biashara, focus biashara. And I would encourage like if you like feel like coming to Nairobi, usisikie hizi stories zenye maybe kuna wezi, maybe kuna whatever thing. Come and focus with the life, real life situations. Nairobi will teach you a lot. It will explore you much. Ni hata ukitoka uende kwa village like kama ni life ngumu utakuwa umezoea hapa Nairobi
kama ni hadithi gani utakuwa umesikia hapa Nairobi. Kenya umeona Nairobi au utaona kwingine tena? Ni hapa tu Nairobi. Thank you. Thank you. We called it Kanairo. That's yeah. how it's known nowadays. Yeah. And we called it Kanairo Institute of Character Development. If you are weak, you will have problem here. If you are gullible, if you can easily be cheated, you can have real problems in Nairobi. And if you are a glutton, when you are a glutton, you are a Nairobi But all in all, Kanairo is a nice place where you get yeah. everything and everything. This, ha this has been why in the morning. I know you've learned. Today was much educative, much educative if you've been following. And um, right now, after this, we are going to have Tando Kali by uh, Piera, Piera McKenna. So for now, we are going to post this on YouTube. So follow us in all of, of the social media platform. You are going to get everything so that you learn. Ishi ukijuo na ishi wapi. For now, salute.